Hello, YouTubers. Sign 543 in the house. Anyway, great news. My son finally got his driver's license. Oh no, that's bad, bad, horrible news. Frightening is what it is. But I do let him drive me places. He's good at that. Like how he drives me to drink. No, 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 he doesn't. I can do that on my own. Short trip. He does drive me crazy, though. You don't need a license to do that. You do need a pointless argument and a very annoying voice, though. And he has both of those things when he argues with me. It's amazing, though, how fast time goes by when you're raising kids. It seems like it was just yesterday that he was spitting up on himself and smearing food all over his face. Okay, that was yesterday, and I can explain why. It was food poisoning or a bug or something. I have no idea. I remember the day he was born. I took one look at him and said, Ah, what is that? Hot as cheese all over his face? No, no, no. He was funny looking. Very, very funny looking. And I'll tell you something else. All newborns look that way. I will never understand how some animals can eat their young. You'd have to be, like, very hungry. Because, you know, who could eat something that looks that gross? Anyway, my son was talking to me today about some world history he's learning in school, but I don't think they're teaching him much. Tell me about the dynasty in early China, but I don't think Joan Collins is that old. Then he started yammering about, you know, early man and how they started off as hunters and gatherers, and then went on to be the bold and the beautiful and the young and the restless. I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. Instead of teaching him about soap operas in school, why don't they, like, teach him something useful? Like, how to rinse out the shower when you're done. Don't know where all that hair comes from. If I didn't know any better, I'd think Bigfoot had recently moved in. My son is so hairy, I have no idea where he gets that from. Nobody in my family is that hairy. We did have a neighbor that was that hairy, though. Wait a minute. No, no, no. My neighbor is not my son's father. Although he was at the birth. Very strange. I just thought he was being helpful. I did think he was going too far when he asked to cut the cord, though. And the yearly Christmas cards, and birthday cards, and weekly calls on the phone. I'm sure it's meaningless. I wonder how much a paternity test costs. <laughs>